Your boy Primetime Pat back with another video. Um, I haven't been on here in a minute, guys, but yes, I have been seeing what's going on in the internet, and I'm still seeing ladies. Y'all don't have any fucking common sense. Common sense. No common sense at all. Now, in this instance, Shaq is wrong. But Angel Reese is wrong for her, for for her, uh, the way she was dressed on Wild and Out. And we're going to go through it. But let's go through the um, clip first. Remember, guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you again in advance. Strike this from the tape, Christian. We ain't striking it. Don't, don't, don't. I'm telling you, you just lower like that to where it gives your ability to dunk. Bro, imagine you. I'm not same, imagining. Oh, let me finish. Imagine you in them same little shirt you had on at the Wild and Out show, Duncan. You know how many t shirts you're going to sell, Curtis? You tripping. Oh my what? God. <laughs> what? Oh them same little church. Hmm. <laughs> now, you see the picture. Booty cheeks out. Who dresses like that? A prostitute. I'm not calling her a prostitute, but I said who dresses like that? That's how prostitutes dress. To let you know that they're available. Now Shaq, Shaq is wrong. Because I understand where the ladies are coming up from that he's, a, he's acting like a creep, he's her mentor, this and that. Yeah, as an older man, and mentor now I don't know how their relationship is you know what I mean if they have a kidding relationship we don't know we just seeing what we see here yeah he should have never suggested that to her because now you're telling her to sell sex to make money even though she, he's not telling her prostitute he's telling her to show your booty cheeks and stuff like that because we, we all know sex sells and that's the issue why do I need to buy something from a female or a company because they got a naked woman on there? But this is the issue too. You Women are portraying this and they're asking for respect at the end of the day. So make it make sense. I've never seen a prostitute on the street with a business suit on talking about do I want some to try to try to lure me in. So we can address Shaq all day saying that he's a mentor, this and that, but you're a grown woman with your booty cheeks out on the street on shows that kids watch. And then saying it's creepy when men sexualize you. Make it make sense. This is why when I on my uh, on his YouTube, I say you guys don't have no damn common sense at all. If I went outside right now with my draw with my draws on, this briefs, and then my meat is show my meat print is showing. I eat whether I'm hard or erect. You guys would say I'm a damn pervert. Oh, my daughter is here. What the hell is wrong with you? Y'all would call the police on me. So what's the difference of you stepping outside with a, a short skirt with your booty cheeks hanging out with a thong on? What is the difference? Please somebody explain that to me. Are you guys outside with your, your breast out? Your crease is all out. It's all the way to the nip, almost to the nip, the nipple. You some of y'all try to put it up so we can see the, the, the top of the areola. And then if somebody mentions it, you say it's disrespectful or leave me alone. Oh, this is what I want to do. I'm grown. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what, what do you guys expect when you walk out the house? Amanda, run to the run to the um um run to the um jewelry store and buy you a ring to ask you to marry? Why would any man want his wife outside just like that? 
and then you'll call them insecure. But if a man comes and touch you inappropriately or something, you're looking for every man on the corner to come fight with you. But no, you was asking for you was ask you was looking for that attention when you stepped out the house. Now nobody's supposed to touch nobody. Let's not say touch nobody. Let's say cat calls. Because you guys feel you still feel disgust, disgusted when somebody's cat calling you, whistling at you, or or whatever. Be for real. Help me figure out. You got sexualized everything, and then when a man comes and talks to you primarily about sex. Ew, why, 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 why are you addressing me like that? So that means you guys are okay with a man coming in front of you in his drawers in front of your kids. Because you come in front, you go in the store every day with your, your butt cheeks out. You go in the store every day with your, um, uh, um, thing. Justin like this is only meant for the strip club in pl certain places where you guys shouldn't be in the first place. Dress like a demon, get 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 demons uh, coming after you. It's only a demon. It's only a female that that got the demon in them. Demon in them that would dress they, just like that. You're looking for sex. Only prostitutes dress like that. Oh well, you 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 don't want women to look sick. There's plenty of outfits you can wear that you can still look um beautiful. There's plenty of let's let, let's just say in, instance that yeah, men are gonna holler at women either way. It's just it's it's just common sense. It's attraction. Men are attracted to women. But if you're out in the business suit. Your chest covered. Sometimes you guys might have the tight pants that are cuffed, but say, but say, say you have a vest over it. I can't really see your buttocks. If I address you, I'm just addressing you because you're a, you're a woman. Because I'm attracted to women. Now I'm gonna look at you a certain way. Damn. I still probably. You still want to um, be intimate with this type of woman or whatever the case may be. But I'm going to address you a different way. I'm not going to try to cat call you. I'm not going to ask you how much. Because you, 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 you're just respectable. I don't know. I don't know. What, I don't know what you want. Exactly. Because guys, remember, we go off first appearance. You see a man in a Bentley, you automatically think he's rich. If you see him in a little hoop, hoopty 96 Honda, he's broke. And he could be the richest man. So how are men supposed to... When you're dressed a certain way. Now if you're dressed like that. Your butt cheeks out. Everything is out. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you straight up. How much? There, There's no other business we need to talk about. When you're dressed like that. Now I might sit down with you. Have another conversation. And see. But you got. Everybody's going off of first looks. When they approach each other. You might not even mess with me if you see I don't have a ch watch and chain. So you can't be mad with, at men when you're dressed like a prostitute and he treats you like one. Now, if you're dressed in business attire, decent clothing, now you can check him. He's just disre bluntly disrespectful because you didn't give him a reason to. When you step outside that a certain way, I step outside with my meat out. If a woman looks at her or point at her, I gave her a reason to because I should have been covered. I shouldn't have been wearing stuff to show my print. So at the end of the day, it's demons that's making y'all do this anyway. Because you guys don't have no modesty. So you're going to attract demons. Demons do not care if you're dressed in a business attire or dressed like a prostitute. They're going to come after you.
But if I'm presenting, if I'm presenting myself modestly, I'm dressed properly. Rebuke that demon. I didn't give you any reason to come to me. You can't disrespect me like that. Why would my wife put put me in a position for men to be chasing her down because she's dressed a certain way and then put my my life in risk? It's the other thing. If I know my wife is not that type of woman, this and that, I'm gonna come and risk my life for her because shit. They should. I know. I know my wife has is modest. I know if a man approaches her, she's gonna let her let let them know she's married, this and that. She's not a big flirt. But if I know my wife is outgoing and have an open relationship, anything can happen. Why am I rushing out to protect her? Put my life on the line. Cause I'm gonna be hot when I get out there. Guys, you do what you attract. So continue doing this, and you're going to attract the demons that you're looking for. It's as simple as that. Shaq, again, he was wrong, because if he's a big sister and mentor for, to her, he shouldn't be suggesting anything like that. But I get where he's coming from, because, again, sex sells. This is, we're in a sexual society. You guys have no morals. You guys do whatever. You guys attract demons and then wonder why you, you're getting the disrespect that you're getting. I know I'm a little late on this, but I had to address it because we've seen it every day on Instagram. You guys are acting like prostitutes, but but want wifey treatment. But go ahead and leave y'all comments because I'm seeing y'all still don't got no common sense. It, it's, it's crazy to me. But thank you guys for subscribing. Go ahead and like and follow. Next video coming up. Holla, it's your boy Primetime Pat.